Welcome back, everybody. Matt Grisucci here with After After Hours Web Exclusive. I'm here with PS Ukulele. We have Greta, Alana, and Nick. And so we're just going to ask you guys a couple of questions about the club and just see your responses and just rapid fire kind of setup. So just the first thing that comes to your mind. So what wood do you use to make your ukuleles? Um, I'm a big fan of mahogany. And what makes mahogany better than the other woods? I have absolutely no idea. That was the first wood that came to mind. But And what wood do you use? Mahogany. I think most of them are mahogany. <laughs> well, not to say mahogany again. I'll go with a nice maple wood. Ooh. Nice maple wood. And why did you choose maple wood? Uh, because of the color. The, oh. the color, yeah, it's different than mahogany. So you made these yourself? I wish. So you, you didn't I make I your wish. ukuleles? I mean, like, we're, we're not going to no. tell you the secret. Oh, so you're more of just ukulele buyers. Okay. All right. Okay. So what was the worst performance that you ever had? Oh, I actually have a very good answer to this. Once for Valentine's Day. I would love to hear it. Okay. Once for Valentine's Day, we, uh, someone bought a ukulele gram. And so we were supposed to go and serenade someone here at Innovation Park. Uh, little did we know, we could not find the building. And the woman was not told that we were coming. So we ended up... <laughs> like bombarding her in the hallway. She didn't know who we were and we just started singing to her. Um, she was uncomfortable, we were uncomfortable, and it was a very awful Valentine's Day. So that was my worst experience. Did anyone clap for you? No, she just kind of left. It was great, it was a very quiet building. Did you get paid for it? <laughs> yes, we did. We made the guy pay us for this awful experience, so. The same for you guys? Um, there was one time when we were performing for a dance group beforehand, just to like kind of warm up the audience, and uh, we forgot the lyrics to the song halfway through, but we carried it on. I don't think with ukulele, like it's really hard to notice if you mess up, so we pulled it off. And how about you, Nick? Well, I've only been to one performance so far. So was was this the one performance? Actually, if you include this one, this is my second. Oh, okay. Thank God. I was afraid we had amateurs for a second. <laughs> no, but um, other than just messing up a few chords, I don't... I think it went too bad. Okay, so Nick's a professional. The other two are just messing around. Um, so paper or plastic? Paper. Yeah, paper for sure. You can recycle paper. I'm sorry, the answer was reusable. So what do you guys think was, I know, I am right. So what do you guys think was, are the most underrated and most overrated instruments? Underrated is the French horn. Why the French horn? I just think it's a great instrument. People don't respect it enough, you know? Much like they don't respect the French enough. Exactly, exactly. It's mainly why. Most overrated? Overrated. Hmm. Acoustic guitar. Mm. Mm. Overrated, underrated. Underrated steel drum. I think those are, yeah, Ooh. right, right. Can you play the steel drum? No, I wish. I like want to get one just to like have a steel drum. Um, overrated, yeah. I would have to agree. Acoustic guitar, I would say a lot of people play it, but I don't know. There's just some overrating things. <laughs> I'm glad you can think for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> well, I would say the most underrated is harmonica because that's very tough to play. Um, and then for overrated, uh, I don't want to say acoustic guitar again, but I think I have to because it's so like widely played. Mm -hmm. I think you guys would be bigger fans of acoustic guitars. I mean, well, it's, it's not that we're not fans. I don't know how to play guitar. It's, it's yeah. I know how to play the acoustic guitar. I just think everyone also knows how to play the acoustic guitar. Like, find your own instrument, you know? I think I also know how to play the acoustic guitar. So. <laughs> um, so where in Hawaii are you from? Um, the main island. I know nothing about Hawaii. I feel like I'm not capable of playing the ukulele just because I know nothing about Hawaiian culture, but... I would agree with that. Yeah. Where in Hawaii are you from? Aloha, Hawaii? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know that. You didn't tell me. <laughs> and I'm actually... Uh, I was from a larger island off the coast of Hawaii um, called North America. Tell me more about this, North America. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's relatively the same size. They have about the same population as Hawaii. It's like the same thing. Do they also have ukuleles? Um, there's like two or three. Two or three on the whole island? Yeah. Is that, did, is that one of them? <laughs> this, this is one of them. Wow. wow. I'm impressed. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So why not just play a normal sized instrument? Why play a normal sized instrument? We can play a weirdly small instrument. You know? I, I think it makes some people uncomfortable. That's the fun of it. Just approach them with your normal sized body and small instrument, immediately uncomfortable. Just confuse them with perception. Exactly. And why, why don't you? This is actually one of the bigger of the small instruments, so That's I'm, true. yeah, I'm like overcompensating right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, just confuse people. Why not? That and also it's it's slightly it's easy to carry around. You can bring it anywhere with you. you just pull it out and play. Would you like to go to dinner with me? Why not? Do you want you can like ukulele serenading? Is this like you know do I have to like perform well, for dinner? I, if if you would like to. Like like if it's not free, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean my answer depends on if you're paying or not. Depends how the date goes. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your musical inspirations? Um, like who is my main musical inspiration or any of them? Um, I don't know. I take a big inspiration from all classical music. I know it's kind of hard to relate that to the ukulele, but um just the complexities of it and musical theory, I'm very interested in that. So you're just like Mozart, Bach, Tiny guitar. Exactly. It's a logical progression, you know? Yeah. yeah. I like Sia. I like Marina and the Diamonds. Just like those really strong female power, like those voices that are really powerful and unique. So not really instruments, just singing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you, Nick? <laughs> well, at first, I was really into uh, like alternate rock songs on the ukulele, but now I'm starting to learn a little more Elvis songs. So alternate to just regular rock? Pretty much. And of course, our last question, we ask everybody, just simple, um, how do you feel about the Palestine in, in the Israel conflict? Not good. Not good? Not good. Final it's a answer. disaster. <laughs> disaster, yeah. It's, it's there. It's happening. <laughs> so what do you think we should do to solve it? Pass. <laughs> should I go like really deep with this one? Yes. I think food is a huge problem. I think if everybody is fed, a lot of our problems would be solved. That's true. Most of my problems come from not eating enough. I would have to agree with that. Well-fed people tend to be happier. You know, I think we made a lot of progress today. <laughs>